Rock, 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 barrel on the track, boy. All right, so this looks like some of the stuff you'll find in a laptop. Um, just to kind of give you all some information of, of what it goes as and that kind of thing. So we'll start off with this. This is your RAM. So that's only one gig. Remember, scrap price is the lowest price. If you pull it out and it's like four, five, eight, you know, something like that, you may want to try to sell it online. You get more money for it. But this is only one gig. This is your RAM, all right, that's in laptops. Uh, you'll find them in the Apple computers quite often too, especially those all-in-ones, uh, saving space. <clears throat> so they have the little short sticks in here. So this is, this is on Board Sorts website, it says gold-fingered RAM. It's $23 a pound. Takes quite a bit to bank a pound, okay? Um, so it's just one of the things you pop out of them real fast, toss them aside, next thing you know, you have four or five hundred dollars sitting over there. So this right here falls into the gold finger card clean slot for selling the board sort. Okay. Uh they're four dollars and ninety cents a pound. <clears throat> this is the same thing as your graphic cards um, and stuff like that. And there's different things you can do with them. This is actually your wireless card. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of gold on it. There's gold flashing. If you pull the the green, you know, stuff off, there's going to be some gold underneath there. Uh, you can cut the gold fingers off and add it to the gold fingers. Gold fingers sell for forty dollars a pound. So there's there's different options. I don't know what you would put this in if you cut the gold fingers off though. Um, I think there is a a category if i can find it real fast for trimmed gold uh trimmed finger cards that's two dollars and 40 cent a pound um so i guess you could throw it in with that at that point <clears throat> instead of four dollars and 90 cent a pound but that is your wireless cards you find them a lot in laptops and sometimes you find them in other things like the uh satellite boxes and uh different things like that so a lot of times this is going to be the processor that you get out of a laptop um, they're small they're lightweight you can see the gold pins on the bottom uh, they don't weigh much of anything that kind of thing so let's see if we can read what it says uh, it is an intel but it is not an i-series i-series have the metal top on there and you still have to read <clears throat> so these right here uh they fall under the green slash brown fiber no metal category for board short uh in the in the processor area <clears throat> and these are 17 dollars a pound now if y'all watched previous videos i weighed a couple of them uh they're like what two tenths of an ounce a piece or something like that um super lightweight so it's going to take a lot to make a pound um a lot of people don't even tear down on a laptop they just take them and sell them to board sort as is or whole uh or a broken screen i think they have three different categories um instead of taking them apart and that kind of thing because everything's so small so lightweight um most people feel like it's not worth their time you know again are you a, are you a hobby scrapper just trying to make the most money you can and you're doing this while you're you know watching tv or are you running a business and trying to turn volume as opposed to max value <clears throat> it's decisions that everybody has to make so this right here is the mouse pad so not all mouse pads are this way but you can see the gold around it. So if you pull it out of that plastic piece, and, and I say mouse pad, it's where you double tapping and moving the mouse and cursor around and all. So this is it. So most of the time, there's one or two of these chips on the back. Um, so this is your IC chip, and that is your flat pack chip. 
So these do have different values. You can take them off of there. You're going to have some gold pins in this and some gold pins in this. You can see the gold flash in here. You can see the gold shining through the board at different places. Um, not something you're probably going to go after. I'd say the average person. But there really is. I don't have a screwdriver with me. I do have my knife though. Hold on. <clears throat> not all of them are gold. Uh, some of them are copper. But as you can see, if you peel that back, there's a lot of gold in there. So you got to get the sticky part off and soak it to get that gold out or off of it. But there's quite a bit of gold flashing in there. But as I said, some of them are copper, you know. So if you like going after the gold, refining that stuff yourself, that is a somewhere that you can find some. If you uh, remove the green mask there's more gold underneath that <clears throat> but again it's a to each their own you know what do you like to do is it something new you want to learn there's still a plastic coating on there apparently does not want to come off of there not easily anyway there we go Now we're getting down to it. So you can probably see that, that film in between the two where it's peeling off. All that's glue. So you have to remove that from there to be able to get to, to the gold that's underneath. And very seldom does it come off this nice and neat. But this one did. So, I mean, that side's ready to process if that's something you wanted to go over. <coughs> go after. There's no glue left there or anything like that. Uh, me, I'd pull these two chips right here and just toss it in as it was. Uh, removing the green mask can, can really be messy and nasty and that kind of thing. Um, but just, just some information. If you're, if you're a gold bug and you like to refine gold and stuff, that's a good place to find it. Uh, these right here, you can hit them most of the time with a heat gun and tap them and those gold pins will fall off. You can refine that. Uh, you've got the where that plugs in on these most of the time the plug is gold you got the gold fingers um, and well, Let's look underneath of the, the uh, Stuff here and see what's under it <clears throat> So that's one of those crystal oscillators that has silver in it but all of these chips are tiny, not really ones I normally go after. I might pull these off real quick just because they're super easy. Just grab them and rip them right off with the pliers. Uh, but the rest of that stuff is tiny and uh, not really worth going after. And it doesn't feel like there's anything on this side underneath this, uh, this label here. But again, this was the wireless card out of a laptop. There you go. Little dots of gold on there, but that's about it. So a lot of this is just to each their own. Uh, underneath there, it's not normally much under those. And they're not the easiest thing in the world because they're soldered through to, to get... Um, you can pull this chip off. There's gold in that. But again, that's a lot of processing. That's just a flat pack. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> again, these, you can pull all of these chips off of there. There's gold in them. You can process them if you're a gold bug. You can cut the, you know, gold strips off there and sell those. The uh, process for getting the gold is just its too much to me. It's not something I really enjoy. Now, this is something else. So, this one actually did not come from a laptop. This come from a regular. But your DVD drive, uh, your DVD ROMs, and that kind of thing, they've got these eyes in them. 
and uh, there's some gold in here too you can see this this wire over here can't see much on this one but if you take them apart there's gonna be gold pins in this uh, in the eyes there's normally gold on the back side where the optics are <clears throat> this one's a little bit different than most uh, so a lot of times these right here you can probably open the back side you'll find a couple little pieces of gold in there so I've been collecting these for a long time not something I want to take apart myself um, but as I get the industrial machine set up and all that stuff, I'll run them through that to collect the gold and, and copper and all that to send them. So, and a lot of times this is some of your wiring that goes to it. There's going to be some gold and, and little tiny gold wires in this. <clears throat> and your pins have gold on them. And of course there's lots of connections that has gold. This is actually the uh, SD card, and that's where it makes its connection. There's gold there, there's gold here. <clears throat> uh, this is actually, looks like it's off of, the um, board off of a hard drive, to be honest with you. But you can see, there's gold pins. So there's lots of things you can find gold in and you can go after. So hope this is helpful for y'all. Um, if you have any questions, you know, stick them, stick them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you on them. <clears throat> but I uh, hope everybody's had a great day and a great week. Hope everybody's doing good. We'll see y'all next time.